Hello and welcome to View From The Decks, the show where we take you on a journey down the Solent and examine the history of what we can see from the deck of the Steamship Shield Hall. Welcome to Hive. Hive is a small village located on the west side of the Solent and acts as the gateway to the New Forest. Although not part of Southampton itself, the village has a strong tie to the maritime city via its historic ferry, which we'll discuss later in this video. The word hive translates as where the forest meets the sea. In Old English, a hive is a landing place on a river or a sheltered estuary, and the position of hive clearly fits that description. The first recorded use of the name dates from 1293, during this period, the villages of Hythe were occupied in a mixture of agriculture, fishing and ferrying. During the Middle Ages, the size of vessels visiting Southampton increased to such an extent that they could not land their cargoes directly onto the quays. They anchored in the river, and the boatmen, or wherrymen of Hythe, transferred the goods from ship to shore. The first documentation of a regular ferry service between Hythe and Southampton occurs when the name Hythe Ferry appears on Saxton's map of Hampshire in 1575 though the ferry had probably been manned since the village was founded. The Hythe locals also played a minor but important role with the Armada Campaign of 1588. The local wherrymen were hired to transport crew, rations and cargo aboard Southampton's contribution to the fleet, the 120-ton vessel Angel, which laid at anchor off Southampton. The Hythe ferry carried on ferrying people backwards and forwards for centuries. Then, on the 10th of March 1830, the ferry was upgraded to incorporate the best technology of the time, and the first paddle steamer was introduced for the Southampton Crossing, named the Emerald. However, the ferry had to operate using a stone pier on the Hythe shoreline. This pier wasn't very accommodating, so in order to update the service, new facilities needed to be constructed. The Hythe Pier as we know it today was opened on the 1st of January 1881. Today it stretches some 640 metres from the centre of Hythe to the deep water channel of Southampton Water, making it the seventh longest pier in the British Isles. This great length made it difficult for some passengers to carry their luggage all the way to the end. So in 1909, a hand-propelled railway was installed on the pier to make moving cargo easier. But it was the installation of the 1922 electrified narrow gauge railway that we still see on the pier to this day that stood the test of time. The line is operated by two four-wheeled electric motor tractor units built during the First World War and used at the time at a mustard gas factory at Avonmouth. Today, this makes Hive Pier Railway Britain's oldest continuously operating electric pier train and it has been awarded a certificate to that effect by the Guinness Book of World Records. Although the pier has had a long and successful career which looks set to continue, it hasn't all been smooth. On the 1st of November 2003, as football fans were making their way off the pier from the ferry, Andrew Bartlett, drunkenly at the helm of the Donald Redford, lost control. He crashed the Redford into the historic pier, slicing the structure in two. The entire pier rocked as a 45 metre section of the promenade crashed down into the sea below. Luckily, no injuries or deaths were reported, but repairs cost upwards of £300,000, the pier had to be shut down for 10 weeks, and Andrew Bartlett was sent to prison. Despite the accident, it did not take away from the historical significance of the pier, and in August 2021, the pier and its associated structures were awarded a Grade 2 listed status. As well as the pier, another unique feature of Hive is its marina village, which became the first of its kind in the UK. Construction took place by reclaiming land from the sea, and the first homes were launched onto the market in 1985. The village itself is modelled off of Port Grimaud, located in Provence, France. Hive has also had some very famous residents and visitors through the years, including T. E. Lawrence, or Lawrence of Arabia, and Sir Christopher Cockrell, the inventor of the hovercraft. The village has also been visited by Kaiser Wilhelm during his visits to Grandmother Queen Victoria, and King George VI would visit the ferry prior to the embarkation of World War II troops to Normandy. Today, the village of Hythe provides a unique visit for its artisan stores, pubs, cafes, bakeries and is one of the departure points for the New Forest Tour during the summer months. Hythe is also known for being an excellent spot to view some of the largest ships in the world as they sail past. 
This includes unique vessels such as the Steamship Shield Hall. Shield Hall allows passengers the special opportunity to see places and structures like Hythe and its pier from up close on the water. We always get a great view of the historic Hythe Pier and its associated ferry from the deck as we sail past for every cruise. We hope to welcome you on board soon.